In this video, we're going to talk about Gunsinger Spawn versus his portrayal from the past. Alright, my brothers and my sisters from another mister. This is a comic book review of Gunsinger Spawn, issue number 28, brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. So previously in Gunsinger Spawn, a man from Gunsinger Spawn's past confronts him about the betrayal perpetrated against him. Since being pulled into our modern times, Gunslinger has pretty much been a loner. His personality was never one that needed a bunch of people in his life. In fact, the fewer who knew he was alive, the better. So he only let a few into his circle, which makes this betrayal all the more hurtful. Because Gunslinger Spawn could have really used a friend in this century. So he asked Carl what's going on, what they tell you. Nothing thing says Carl they opened my eyes is what they did they told me the truth to who my real enemies are and who I can trust and who's that Carl says gunslinger well it ain't you that's for damn sure I want to believe you were my friend gunslinger but you're not and gunslinger's like yo man I am your friend shut up they said you'll deny everything remember what you taught me back when we were young you said survival is the only thing that matters if you're alive that's the victory do you still believe that says Carl Gunslinger Spawn gets up and tells him it's the only thing I believe and he fixes his hat. What about you? What they give you to stop being the man you once were? I said it wasn't them. It was all the decades I lived through, seeing how sick the world can be. And Carl is still holding my gunpoint like ready to blast off on him. He continues to tell Gunslinger he was told how men can twist anything to suit their needs. You got lucky. You got to skip all that. Well, I did it. And he's referencing when Gunslinger Spawn time jumped from 1800 to the modern century now. So Carl tells him, and I learned how cunning men could be, how they pretend to be your friends. But you weren't. You killed my family. I know that now. It's time. You paid for that now. And Gunslinger Spawn knows his former friend's thoughts have been poisoned. And once that happens, there's no reason with that kind of mindset. So Gunslinger Spawn puts his arms out like, alright bro, then do it. I won't resist. And Carl's like, what? You think you can't die? I see the newest Hellspawn, you're nothing compared to him. You're right, says Gunslinger. With the proper method, I can die. But before I do, you still haven't told me what they give you. Time. They gave me time and clarity, says Carl. I got myself into trouble back then. Mess with the wrong people. The kind that don't give a crap about anything or anyone. Especially those that get in their way. And with that fall, it broke nearly every bone in my body. I wish I died that day. Instead, someone found me, took me in, kept me alive somehow. Took years before I could even do the simple things again, like feed myself. But this man, the one you're hunting, he made sure I was in as little pain as possible. Don't really know why he did the thing that he did. He said he saw something in me. Don't know what it was because I couldn't even walk properly for the longest time. My body didn't even move right anymore. Then he told me he can keep me alive, way past any normal living man. And he did. But during that time, I still couldn't move much, so I had to wait. For decades, I waited. See, the doctors couldn't fix me. They didn't have the know-how. So I began to learn about things, heard about what was happening outside my window. They taught me how to read, they taught me how to write, to understand the true nature of man. You don't be understanding Hitler's nature, all right? Some were better than others, but the lust for power was the thing they all had in common. Eventually, the waiting was over. Technology and science was finally able to help me. And Mr. Cliff Truman, he made sure to tell me about those that lusted for power the most and why someone like you would pretend to be my friend and how someone could justify all their killing. So Gunslinger's hounds are ready to come for his protection and Gunslinger Spawn tells him, never pull a gun unless someone pulls theirs first. He told me you would say that. Because it's true, says Gunslinger, but the truth left you long ago. That's a shame, Carl. Don't you patronize me, says Carl. Let me ask, why fake me then? If you were fixing to kill me, why tell me you appreciated my kindness? And that's a reference to the previous issue. I was trying to get you to confess. Tell me how you ruined my life, says Carl. Well, that wasn't me. You did that on your own. So one of the wolves steps on the twig. He spins at the sound behind him because Carl was right. Gunslinger Spawn would have died tonight. His hell spawn body would not have been able to withstand the ionic blast of Carl's bioweapon. As the weakest of the hell spawn, Gunslinger knew that. So he devised another plan to ensure his survivor. And that's to stall him, to buy him some time until his reinforcements appeared, which he knew they would. So Gunslinger Spawn blasts Carl with his necroplasm. The animal smelling blood close in on their prey. Stay back, my pets. He's mine. Sadly, one of them didn't get back fast enough. And Carl takes the advantage. They said you had the bond with the animals, so you move and I'll break its freaking neck. You hear what I said, said Carl? 
With a wave, he sends the other wolves away. But Gunslinger's bond is getting weaker by the second. Struggling to host supernatural power from both heaven and hell, he needs to act quick. He ascends into the air, ascending until he's about to pass out, then boomerang back the way he came at double the speed. Impacts kaboom! And while we look at that and admire that real quick, Hey, don't forget to check out RatedComics.com for some really cool limited print Rated Comics exclusives to add to your comic book collection. Support the art, support the industry. Now let's get back into the content. So Gunslinger Spartan emerges from the dust and debris. Hey there, boy, he says to his horse. Sorry to spook you like that. He makes sure all the animals are safe before mounting up, even though he feels weak himself. But today, he survived. And for him, that's the victory. Clap back at its best. Though with the Battle of Hell's Throne going on, he's not sure how long that will last. In the next issue, they're going to talk about the impact and the blowout from Spawn issue number 350, the Battle of Hell's Throne. And that is the end of this issue of Gunsinger Spawn issue number 28. What you guys think of this comic book? Comment below, let me know. Also, link in description if you wish to add this comic book and or any of our other limited print exclusives to your comic book collection. Support the art, support the industry. I know I said that before. And lastly, this review is sponsored by coffee. So if you'd like to buy your boy a cup of coffee, link in description or donate to the Super Thanks. But the greatest compliment you can do is by liking this video and subscribing to Rated Comics YouTube channel. Thank you again for watching. Until next time.